All right, guys, I hope you can hear me okay. There might be an echo because I've got the camera set up inside the machine enclosure. Um, but I got some requests from some of my customers and uh, some other people in general about aligning the probe, the Drewtronics probe, uh, for your initial calibration. And then any time that you change the stylus, you'll want to repeat the process or a tool holder. Uh, anytime you make a change to the assembly, have a crash, or replace any of the, these main components, uh, you're going to want to do this calibration to make sure that the probe stylus ball is now on center with the spindle center line. Alright, so the first step, um, as you can see here, I've got the DTI set up on a magnetic base on the table. Uh, you can attach it to the head or wherever you need to in order to get a nice stable uh, connection to measure the stylus ball. Um, I kind of eyeball it. You see the position that I have this. You want to make sure that your dial face is comfortable to see. Uh, you want the lever of the DTI to be facing up. And you want to go ahead and get your probe installed in the spindle in the position for which you are repeatedly put it in each time you use it. Um, you can just get this close and then what I use is this machine itself to bring the final position in for probing. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, the first thing I do is I like to kind of eyeball X. And we'll bring the Z down. And you guys are going to be at a little bit of a cosigner vantage point, but it was the only way I could figure to make this work easy. But the DTI is going to tell us everything we need to know as well as you guys. All right. Now from my vantage point, that's getting kind of close. So I'm going to ease Y in, I'm going to switch over to tenths. And I'm going to go just until I see the DTI move. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to X and we're going to find our, actually, we'll sweep X with a little more Y just to find the top point. All right. So now we know that that's pretty much the, the center of the ball in X. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to Z. We're going to measure down in Z. That's pretty much the high side center of the ball in Z. Now what I'll do is I'm going to back off in Y. And I'm going to come just until we touch it. Alright. Okay, so now we know that we're, we're centered on the ball in the Z axis and in the X axis. And we're just barely touching it in the Y axis. Okay, so from here what we're going to do is we're going to check our initial run out on the ball. If you guys have not done this before, it's probably going to be a good ways out. 
Alright, so I have done this already. And it's showing a couple tents. At least we think it's a couple tents. So what I'll do is we'll put it back in Y. Let's all right, so we got more than a couple tents now. We're just gonna keep going until I'm in the sweep range and know it's reading. All right, so we're about a thousandth out. This is a tense indicator, or 50 millionths indicator actually, but each one of the major ticks between the zero and the one is a tenth. So we're about a thousand thousand. All right. So what I want to want to do is find the high side. All right. Now this is fortunate that the high side is lining up with this. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. The adjustment are these four screws. All right. And what those screws do is they adjust it inside the platter that the stylus and the stylus arms sit on. So we're actually moving the whole uh, stylus platter around inside the probe body. So to adjust them, what we're going to want to do is find our high side here. And we know that right now the, the stylus is pointing towards us about 1,000. What we're going to want to do is slide the platter backwards, which means we would tighten this. But in order to do that, we have to break the one on the back free so that it's got a little room to move and that we don't compress the, the platter unnecessarily. All right. So I oftentimes use two. I think it makes it a little easier. One for the side that I'm adjusting. And just gonna one for the other side. So we know we want to move the platter back and bring the DTI. We'll try and bring about, about half of that. All right. So I'm going to Loosen the back one slightly. All right, see, just the preload on the screws in the platter was enough to. All right, so now those are adjusted and tightened back up. And what we'll do now is we'll check the sweep again. So. So this is this is a low point now. And what I'll do, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this to zero again on the low point. And we're gonna repeat. So it looks like it's similar. And this will take you a while to do if you're tedious about it. All right, and check your sweep again. Remember, we're, we're talking half a thousand here, so. Oh, that, that's going to happen a time or two, I'm sure. And a half a thousand, it does not take a lot of movement. So I got that loose.
Oh. All right, so now it looks like we're real close on the one on the side we were adjusting, and we're a little out on this side. So let's find the high side there. All right, so we're just going to switch these over. Probably gonna be pretty far out. <laughs> yep. So probably got these adjusted a little too tight. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna loosen them all up. See if we're in the sweep range at all anymore. All right, so that is definitely our high side. That's a low side. That's a high side. Remember, if you feel the screws getting tight, I shouldn't say even tight, if you feel them starting to give pressure, you got to loosen the other side. That's our low side. We've got a high side here. That's a low side, so we'll bring that up a little bit. That's going to be a new low side.
Okay, so depending on how tedious you want to be on this, we're talking two, two and a half tenths. You can literally do this all day long. All right, so the front to back, oops, sorry for the camera bump. Front to back, we're pretty much right on the money. So what we'll do is we'll switch over to these screws. That is, and what we'll do is we'll just check and make sure we're still touching them Y. Remember we want the least amount of pressure on that ball so that we don't upset the uh, fire. So we're touching here. Just to show. We've got full contact all the way around the ball, and we're under we're under a tenth. All right, at this point, I'm just gonna lightly check. Let's reset this to zero. Now this is this is key. If you've got any of these screws that are still not snug enough to hold position, it can be. A pain because as soon as you start to do that you're going to want to move that little indicator needle. I fortunately have all four screws snugged in position and now we're, we're mechanically centered with the stylus up through the tool holder stack into the spindle taper um, and this is going to allow us to, when we probe to know that the mechanical run out should not be more than what we show here. So any any error that we have in our probing is going to fall within uh, the, the probe trigger cosine error from the tripod, which is very, very small, or it's going to be in the machine uh, motion, mechanical motion components. All right. So I hope that this was informational for you. This is, this is how I've been doing it for years, and I, I know this is getting coming up on 20 minutes we've been working on this. That's actually not bad. You could actually get into a, a situation where you're doing this for 30 to 45 to an hour. It just depends, you know, what your level of touch, feel, and your, your experience in doing it, knowing how everything uh, is, is going to react when you start moving these little set screws. So don't get discouraged. Uh, the first time is always the longest and then after that it progressively gets quicker and quicker. Oh, sorry about that. Alright guys, so I hope that was good. What I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to test the calibration of the probe and we're going to see what it looks like when we get down on the, uh, on the calibration pin. So I'm going to turn you guys off for now and I'll post up a video directly after this one. Thanks.